66 days of data. That's what I'm gonna talk about. Yeah, StatQuest. Hello, I'm Josh Starmer and welcome to StatQuest. Today we're going to talk about Kenji's 66 Days of Data Challenge and it's going to be clearly explained. Every now and then, when I'm on Twitter or LinkedIn, I see something like this. Herman says it's day 44 and they ate a lot of nachos and they watched my StatQuest on PCA. Bam! Hashtag 66 Days of Data. And I'm like, what the heck is this hashtag 66 days of data thing? And who is this Ken G person? And where can I get some nachos? So I called Ken G on the Zoom, and it turns out that 66 days of data with Ken G is totally awesome. Here's the clip. What is 66 days of data? Well, so 66 days of data is an initiative that I started, I guess it's a little more than a year ago. And the, the big idea is that for 66 days, you want to spend at least five minutes each day learning some data science, and then you want to share what you learned each day on your platform of choice. So it could be just texting one of your friends. It could be on the Discord community that's been created that has over 6,000 members. It could be on Twitter. It could be on LinkedIn. It could be on Facebook. It, it doesn't matter. The idea is that you're, you're getting into the habit of learning and then sharing your work and that has a couple benefits. So the, the learning process and creating a habit around that is, in my mind, the most important one is, you know, data science is this field where we're never going to be done learning. There's always more to learn. There's always more information to accumulate. So rather than focusing on, hey, I have to learn this XYZ information now, I actually think when you're starting out, it's more important to focus on how you learn that information and creating a habit around that learning process. And, you know, something for me that I've always struggled with has been a little bit of motivation. And one great way to circumvent the need for motivation is creating habits. Another way to do that is through accountability. So when you're putting your work out there, when you're sharing it, everyone who knows you're doing the challenge in the community, in your Twitter or whatever it is, they're going to be able to hold you accountable. And that little extra social pressure to keep you going is something that I think is really valuable to be able to get past that initial learning hump where, where it can be really scary. Cool. Cool. I love it. Um, so here's a question. What's your favorite thing about the 66 days challenge? Honestly, that is the easiest question you could have asked because by far it is the community. Oh. I would have never guessed we would have gotten so many people involved, so many people asking questions, so many admins willing to help out, so many different viewpoints and so many different individuals that are willing to help out and pitch in and, and make this community just better. What do most people do? So there's a couple different routes and I don't think any one route is correct. Uh, I will say that I think project-based learning is more effective for me. And it's, it also makes what you share a little bit more interesting to everyone else. Mm -hmm. I see that engagement with posts where people are building something is, is significantly higher than it, just talking about, um, you know, like the either the concept they learned or the certificate they're working on. But there's a, a couple different routes. So the, the first that I see very commonly is people use this as a great excuse to start a certificate course or online course. Uh, the other approach is the project based approach, where uh, it does take a little bit more planning to say, hey, these are the projects I want to work on. Uh, it's also a little bit difficult to time scope a data science project to begin with. So, you know, people are like, oh, I'm going to do these three projects and they eventually end up just doing one. Um, I would also say that a third route, uh, some, this is usually more advanced data scientists who already have a portfolio. Uh, they're using it to go back and review the math or the theory. I think that's something that, I, I encourage is that after you've applied these things, after you've built stuff, I always like to go back and review the theory, review the math, because now I have something to stick it onto. So uh, I think that, you know, it's kind of choose your own adventure here, but based on the stage of your career uh, or the stage of your learning, it might make more sense to use this uh, to, to just focus on the areas where you would like to improve most. Again, like it is your, your, your ocean. You can choose to study whatever you'd like. Bam. Note, starting July 1st, 2021, 
I will be participating in 66 Days of Data with Ken G on Twitter, and so should you. I'll be using the 66 Days of Data hashtag to say what I've learned about LightGBM, CatBoost, natural language processing, feature engineering, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Obviously, you can do whatever you want, but if you need ideas, I've made a special 66 Days of Data playlist just for you. The link is in the description below. Double bam! In summary, the 66 Days of Data with Ken G is any 66 consecutive days that you promise to spend at least 5 minutes doing something related to data that will help you grow personally or professionally. You then share what you learned with hashtag 66 days of data on the social media platform of your choice, like Twitter, LinkedIn, or the 66 days of data Discord server. Triple bam! Hooray! We've made it to the end of another exciting stack quest. If you like this stack quest and want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to support stack quest, consider contributing to my Patreon campaign, becoming a channel member, buying one or two of my original songs or a t-shirt or a hoodie, or just donate. The links are in the description below. Alright, until next time, quest on!